Get ready because today I'm going to show you tons of free Mac apps for you to take the full potential of your Mac and make it 10 times more productive. Starting off with Pure Paste. How many times have you pasted a text from a website and ended up with text with different colors, different formatting, different sizes? What Pure Text basically does is paste text with default sizes and colors. It sits right in the menu bar and it will clear formatting. The amount of times that I've been in an article, I wanted to copy something and maybe paste it on an email or into Notion and it just got so messy and the cool thing about pure paste is that you kind of forget that it's there you basically install it once and forget about it because all you got to do once you've got it installed is literally paste you just forget that it's there it's it feels like it's what apple should have always done i mean easy pasting I don't want any colors and any different sizes. I just want to paste. Pandan is another really simple app that basically is a time awareness for your laptop. It sits right in your menu bar as well. And it will basically tell you how long you've been using your MacBook in your last session. So basically from the last time that you opened your laptop. You can also get reminders if you've used your MacBook for more than an hour, for more than two. If you work from home or maybe you're just in front of your laptop all day, it's great to be aware on how long you're using certain devices such as your Mac. So maybe just maybe if you've been using your Mac for maybe four hours, it might be good to see a four hours icon on the top right to make you a little bit guilty that you've been using your Mac for more than four hours. I I'm just saying. If you use a monitor like me, it is extremely annoying to turn up or turn down the brightness of your monitor. You got to dive into settings, monitor, and from there you can turn up or turn down the, the brightness. But with the app monitor control, you can basically control the brightness of your monitor right from the menu bar. If you use multiple displays, all of them will show up right there. So you can control the brightness of your monitors and of your MacBook. Another extremely simple app is to Today. It also lives right in the menu bar and it was made simple for a reason because the only thing that it does is it connects right into your stock calendar app from your Mac and it will show all the events that you have upcoming from your calendar right on the menu bar. So instead of opening up the calendar, seeing a monthly view of everything that you have to do you basically just tap on today on the menu bar and you'll see all the events and everything that you have to do within today and what's also really useful is that it actually gives you a quick access for your meeting so if you've got an upcoming video call you can literally just tap on the meeting and it will jump straight into your meeting it supports all major meeting apps such as zoom webex facetime and more this is me speaking in english esto es lo que estoy hablando en español I'm dubbing myself right now using the app Wondershare Filmora for Mac. It's a super easy to use video editor that has tons of AI features that I'm sure you're gonna love. If you want to dub yourself in a different language, just right click on your clip, tap on AI translation, and from there you're gonna have tons of languages for you to choose from. And for me, since I make tons of reels, it's super easy to add subtitles in all languages in all of my reels. Now let's add some music, but let's make it more intense, a bit more intense. You can create and produce your own music using AI. You just tap on generate AI music and choose the mood. Happy, sad, epic, sentimental. Do you want the tempo to be low, normal, or high? Choose the duration of your song and tap start. Now what's cool about the music is that it's all commercially available. There's also a large variety of music, transitions, titles, effects, stickers. So if you want to take your video editing to the next level, you know what to do. Links are down below in the description for Wondershare Filmora. Thank you Wondershare so much for sponsoring this video and for making my video editing so much faster and easier. I take screenshots all the time on my Mac, but one of the main problems with the Mac screenshot is that sure you take the screenshots but if you actually want to edit it the features that you have are quite limited but not with shotter shotter is a very intuitive and easy screenshot editing app you can add arrows and change the color add text but my favorite feature is the blur and the watermark feature so let's say i want to screenshot a purchase that i just did but i wanted to hide my credit card information i basically open up shotter tap on the blur feature and literally just select my credit card and it will basically blur out that private information it has tons more features but the reason that i use it on my Mac is for that blur feature. So if you want to take your screenshots to a whole new level, you know what to do. You know that one task that you really can't forget about? For example, taking out the trash or maybe fixing the studio lights or maybe calling your boss. With one thing, you will never forget about that one thing because it sits right in the menu bar and you can basically write that one thing and it will live in the menu bar. For example, call boss and it will live right there. So every time you're using your Mac, you're working, you're replying to emails, you will always be seeing that one thing living on the menu bar. So you will never forget to call your boss. You're welcome. And if you don't have a one thing, you can also write a quote or maybe put some emojis so you can actually add some customization 
to your Mac's home screen. This is probably my favorite app in the entire video. I'm sure this has happened to you. You're about to join a meeting, but you want to make sure, you know, you don't have anything in your shirt. Your hair is doing okay, so you might open up the camera on your iPhone and check. Or maybe you open up Photo Booth on your Mac. So with the app in your face, it also sits right in your menu bar and it will basically open up your camera. So you can check on yourself if you're looking good before a meeting. I absolutely love apps like these that are so extremely simple, yet so freaking useful. If you want to discover really useful Apple Watch apps, you can tap this right here or you can subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.